The Way Home or Face the Fire by Ja. The Survival Plan for All Human Plus Beings. Chapter 3. The Creation of Human Animals. Let your communication be yes, yes, no, no, for whatever is more than these comes from devil, de evil. Don't fool yourself with thinking that you are getting away with telling lies because you are not. You are only hurting your own souls. The two sexes in marriage are supposed to become one flesh. Genesis 2.24 Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Matthew 19.5 And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall become one flesh. And N.B. 1 Corinthians 6.16 What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two saith, he shall be one flesh. The two sexes in marriage are supposed to become one flesh, and soulmates becoming not only one flesh, but also one soul, making one complete, unified, and indivisible body and soul to help each other spiritually and physically on their upwards and homewards climb. They are supposed to create a loving, stable environment, Garden of Eden, into which to bring children and teach their children souls to be good, unselfish, compassionate, and to have an understanding of stable and lasting spiritual love. This teaches spiritual love because in a good, God-fearing family there is no incestual sex, only pure spiritual love. There are varying degrees of masculinity and femininity in order for the two together to make one perfect whole in one flesh. They need to be complementary as well as compatible. A man who is 100% male needs a woman who is 100% female, and a man who is 75% male and 25% female needs a woman who is 75% female and 25% male, so that together they make 100% male and 100% female and make one whole flesh. Matthew 19.6 Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Mark 10.8 And they too shall be one flesh, so that they are no more two, but one flesh. The two partners must really be soulmates. That is why Jesus could not find one, because he was an odd man out, and did not belong here in hell. Becoming one soul, striving to be good, against all the world's temptations and opposition, clinging to each other for spiritual survival and life until their human death. The family is supposed to cling together against all odds, come hell, earth, or high water, Noah. Unfortunately, Marriages are now based on material and, therefore, superficial values instead of spiritual, pure love values, so they do not work. The partners stop trying and are tempted by adulterers and money values, and the marriage breaks down. Both partners must keep God's commandments and help each other to overcome temptations and difficulties. The man is supposed to set a good example for the family and teach them from his higher level of spiritual understanding, and the woman is supposed to learn from him and help him to be a gentle man and to teach their children how to be ladies and gentlemen. The wife should never try to undermine and castrate, metaphorically, her husband, but should do her best to encourage him to be a man. 1 Timothy 2, 9-15 in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety not with broiled or plaited hair or gold or pearls or costly array but which becometh women professing godliness with good works let the woman learn in silence with all subjugation but i suffer not a woman to teach nor usurp authority over the man but to be in silence for adam was the first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. A family is like a ship, ark, and if it is going to float and not get wrecked, 
it has to have a captain, father, like the British Royal Navy, and a good first mate, wife, cook and crew, etc. Just like a good first mate is invaluable to a captain, a good woman can help make a good man and a bad woman could break him, and vice versa. If he let her, by loving her more than God, the divine navigator, to steer a straight course home, that is why a woman should love, honor, cherish, and obey her husband, unless he is trying to get her to do wrong through good and bad times and not leave a sinking ship but help the bailing out until death and learn from him and help and encourage him to be good from arrival in hell earth to qualify to go home everything is designed to teach unselfishness by the perpetual crucifixion of self when the self goes and you are no longer addicted to the material things but prefer to be addicted to god good and spiritual joy and richness the pain goes with it the pain is attached to the self to encourage you to lose it when you have lost the self you can go home where everyone is unselfish and everyone loves everyone spiritually and you can trust absolutely everyone in heaven there have been misguided by satan fanatics throughout history who have known that women are more evil more easily manipulated by the devil than men and have killed them while believing that they were doing God's work by destroying evil women and their evil influence, that is, prostitutes, etc. In so doing, they have made themselves more evil than their victims. Only fanaticism can allow the devil to be able to create this kind of totally illogical situation in someone's mind. How can you possibly not be worse than a prostitute if you become a murderer, like Jack the Ripper, etc.? Fanaticism, or a closed mind, always leads to trouble especially religious satan's invention fanaticism because it allows the devil to really get a hold of the soul and deceive it into doing evil while believing that it is doing it for god hence these insane murderers and religious wars john sixteen one to four these things i have spoken unto you that you should not be offended. They shall put you out of the churches. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he does God's service. And these things I will do unto you, because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things I have told you, that when the time shall come, you may remember that I told you of them. And these things I said not unto you at the beginning, because I was with you. You must always be balanced and must not submit to any overwhelming animal emotion. Remember that Satan talks to your animal body, so you must learn control. Jesus was perfectly balanced spiritually at all times because he asked for and received God's help, especially when he was being struck and spit upon and his human life was in danger, and you must do the same. God says, You shall not kill, except in self-defense, real and not imaginary, or as punishment in accordance with God's laws and judgments. You must dissuade people from doing evil, by setting them a good example, or by shunning them to make them ashamed of themselves and love them into changing their ways. Never underestimate the power of the force of spiritual, divine love. It is the greatest and most powerful force in the whole of creation.